Good morning and welcome to Radio Friends on Wednesday, April the 3rd. Joan Stack is with us from the State Historical Society. I guess this is one of the last times we're going to talk to you while you're in the, still in the old building. That's right. I'm going to be talking today about our last mini exhibit in the building that we ha- are currently occupying, which is at Ellis Library on the MU campus. Yeah, I like it. The last new exhibit in the old building yes. before you move to the new building. <laughs> yes, that's right. right. Okay, so what is this exhibit? Well, this is a case exhibit, and it was organized by one of our interns, and the uh, young woman, uh, Joanna Grotoff, is now... Uh, working with us in the security department so that's kind of fun Uh but uh, when she was uh, still a student she worked on an exhibit from our collections and she was really interested in the idea of artists sketchbooks Mm -hmm. and we have a number in the collection and we rarely get to show them so this is an opportunity to see the different types of things that artists draw in their sketchbooks and what functions do they serve yeah now you brought along uh, some drawings from a sketchbook. For the people who are not watching it on on television, do a um, a description. Uh, yeah, a description here. <laughs> well, this is the we have divided the types of drawings into three types, and the first type is preparatory drawings, and this is what a lot of people think of when they think of an artist's sketchbook. In other words, drawings that are made in preparation for a painting or a sculpture or a work of architecture, where the artist is really working out ideas. Mm-hmm. And our ex- example that I brought in today is by the artist Fred Shane, mm-hmm. and he was a contemporary of Thomas Hart Benton. These uh, drawings date from uh, around 1942, and he was planning a, a painting based on people visiting a grocery store. Okay, and then you brought the the, the final f- painting, the final the finished painting here, which now, is actually is in... on display in our gallery. Yeah. So you can see, you can look at the sketchbook drawing and then go into our gallery and see the finished painting. And it, what's interesting is the original drawing uh, has all these different possibilities for the composition, and he's got multiple figures, and he ends up putting a few of those figures in, but he really limits it. He decides to just limit it to a few figures and not have the multiple figures that he I originally the thought. expressions on the face I know. <laughs> of the, the lady standing yeah. in the front and then the other lady holding the baby and the two men in the back. I, I guess they're husband and wife there. Yeah. Well, uh, this is an old, um, you know, this is an old grocery store. Apparently it was it was on Ninth Street. And uh, these were what grocery stores were like in the 1940s. So one of the great things about these images is they help us better understand our past. Yeah. Yeah. I would love to have an old grocery store like that again. And even <laughs> that old cat register that was in there. Now, is this another... Um... Yeah, well, this is a journalistic drawing. Now, these are when an artist, perhaps never going to do a painting of these subjects, but makes sketches in the sketchbook reflecting observations. And in this case, we have a 16-year-old girl... Uh, Marguerite Lawrence, who is doing a self-portrait. So recording her appearance, and she writes down that she was 16 at the time, and this is a late 19th century uh, drawing by an amateur artist. So a little bit different type so of sketchbook. So she, she was looking in a mirror? Yes. I guess she was looking in a mirror yeah. and drawing herself. That's right. And it's a little idealized, so she might have been kind of making herself look a little bit more like the fashionable figures of her time. Yeah, but that's okay. <laughs> oh, yes. That's okay. Uh, and then what, uh, the last thing you have here, uh, Missouri Chamber Orchestra. What, oh, yeah, Hugo so, Vianello. So this is from 1988, and this is by Robert Bussebarger, who was a professor here uh, at the University of Missouri, professor of art, and he loved to do doodles and kind of very imaginative uh, sketches. So that's our, our final type of images that you find in sketchbooks, which are often the, those kind of stream of consciousness This was a playbill, right? Yeah, yeah, so this was inserted in the sketchbook. So he, um, he was watching the chamber orchestra perform, and and then he began to draw on the playbill and kind of draw around it. And in fact, he created a kind of a, a monster character that who, whose body forms the shape of the of the text of the playbill. So yeah. uh, very creative and imaginative. And sometimes these ideas then do go on to become a more grand, uh, elaborate work of art. But sometimes they don't. But it's really interesting to go through the sketchbooks and see the artist's mind at work. So so how many 
uh, items like this do you have on display? Uh, well, we have about uh, three or four of each type. So um, so I guess that would be, uh, I'm not sure exactly how many, but it's uh, around uh, four, three to four, 12, uh, 12 items. It's, yeah. a, it's in a case. And how long will this display be up? Oh, yes. Well, this is the important date is April 19th when we are shutting up shop. And then we will be closed throughout May and June and we may have a soft opening in July we'll have to see how things are going our grand opening will be in August okay August 10th so if you want to see this and you want to see it in the the new display in the old location <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I like that through uh, April April 19th through April 19th and then opening up sometime in July. In the or summer, August. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Anything but, you want? You, you got a couple of minutes here. Yeah. Well, want. one thing I'd like to say is that uh, if you want to see this exhibit, come in through the Hit Street entrance across from Memorial Union. The case is right there, and then do visit our gallery because right now we have uh, Thomas Hart Benton's Year of Peril on display. We've got a lot of the our best stuff uh, up, so you can see the Fred Chain Grocery Store. You can see some other things, uh, especially. If you're on campus, it's a great uh, place to stop in and mm -hmm. uh, and see some great art. Now, of course, we'll have even better space in the new building, but uh, you know it might be nice to compare the two and have yeah. a look at what. So, how do you feel about uh, how do you feel about being out of business there for a couple of months? Oh uh, well, it'll give me time to work out the new exhibits. It's going to be much more space and a lot more to uh, have on display. And of course, not only will I be doing the temporary exhibits, but figuring out how we're going to. Uh, 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 what types of label materials, et cetera, we'll have for the permanent collection. So yeah. we'll be showing Year of Peril, the Thomas Hart, the giant Thomas Hart Benton War pictures. We'll have all of those on display. We'll have a, a larger number of George Caleb Bingham portraits, as well as Order Number 11 and Watching the Cargo. The, the artworks that were really famous for uh, by Bingham and Benton will be on display. I would imagine moving what you <laughs> yeah. have from one location to the next is a is a pretty daunting task. It yeah. is. Now, luckily, it's just a few blocks away, so that makes it but a little bit easier. But everything has to be, does it all have to be Oh, yes. Packed? Yeah, and the big paintings will need to be, some of them will need to be created to ensure that they are. Yeah, so you're not just going to pick them up and walk Oh, down. no, no, no. <laughs> and we actually have professional movers who are coming in to work oh, with the paintings. Oh, my, yeah, yes. yeah. Well, Joan, thank you so much, and we'll get you back here again to give us an update on how things are coming along. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, Joan Stack, State Historical Society. If you want to see the, the uh, uh, last location here until <laughs> April the... 19th. April yeah. the 19th. Joan. The Sketchbook Exhibition. Yes, please okay. come and see it. All right, thank you so much. Uh, tomorrow, uh, we're going to find a Maplewood Barn Theater and Boost Fest 2019. If there's something you'd like to hear or see, I would love to hear from you. Drop me an email, pepperp at missouri.edu. And have yourself a nice morning and afternoon. Bye-bye.